Hey friends, it's your boy Joey. We're back again. Today, we are going to attempt to fix that broken transmission line. We went and got more of these. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know this is the same manufacturer company I use to do the fuel lines on the green truck. And I will find that box. These are way bigger fittings. So I think forty-five. I don't need. I know that. I forgot which one of these I need. I hope these are the right ones. There's one other option, but they're way more expensive. Here's the line. Way bigger than the old stuff. So I'm not gonna show you how to do it with this video. I'll link the other one. But here's the basic stuff. You know, you just do do do. Do, 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 do. Nice pictures, nice instructions. You know. It's pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have that front skid plate on anymore, I don't have to worry about that. But I will take this bad boy off. Which these things, I don't like them. I do have special pliers. I'm not sure where they are. Crap. So. I'll catch you back later. Okay, so what we're replacing on the truck now. It will be. This line here. We'll take this threaded piece out replace it with the new one and then if we come over here on the radiator it should be this top one here there is another one way down there somewhere but this is the one we need to do so I'm gonna get working on that. Ouch. The way to disconnect the lines though, you just gotta pop this little clip out. I'm gonna get a pick to do that. They like to fly out, so if you're trying to reuse, uh, just be aware of that. But you pop that out, and then you just tug the line out and it comes out real easy. It's a nice quick disconnect system. I'm not gonna have to save those, so I don't have to worry. I do have a bunch sitting in the garage somewhere. I lost a bunch of them last year with the transmission on the old truck. So yeah, we'll see what's up. We're gonna get to work on this. Okay, here's what that little clip looks like. So that'll just go over there. I'll show you how this pops out. Oh yeah, I did end up taking out the intake air filter assembly so I get more room. And now, uh, you should be able to see, and here's where the transmission line comes out on the bottom. I will tell you now, if you take both of these out, the piece that's in here for the transmission cooler will drop. And I hear it's near impossible to get out. So let's try this.
and just like that. That's popped off. We're also gonna pull the drill out to make this easier. And then now you can really see that I'm working with this. It's just a cover that holds that little clip on there better. So, um, yeah, looks like I gotta find my side cutters as well, electrical cutters to cut this big zip tie. I'm uh, gonna turn some music on and get cracking on this. I will update you in a little bit. Okay, so we got one off. Uh, we did use the big impact. One and a quarter inch is what this ended up being. This is the O-ring one. So we come over here, go through our packages real quick and this is the one with the O-ring. And you see it's got a nice O-ring. And this is a 24 millimeter nut on there. So I will go ahead and just put that on. I will not use the impact. I did forget one thing. Make sure you lubricate the O-ring. You don't want that ripping or tearing on you. I going on there I need to clean that I just used PB blast that's what I got handy should be fine so yeah um, give me some okay and to show you how I repaired this I think it would have lasted a longer than a lot longer than I thought but you can see here this just ripped and was falling apart and then there's a hole somewhere that I cut out that went all the way through and I just used this plastic for heater hose repair and a couple of clamps these weren't heavy duty clamps so I didn't trust it but got me home got me to work got me around worked out pretty darn good for me so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that for now. Just gonna sit there. And I put the black gloves on because this is transmission fluid. And I'm tired of just having really gross hands from working on cars. So yeah. And I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, quick thing. You wanna make sure you cut these as straight as possible. As you'll see, there's a little space there. You turn it around and you'll see there's no space. And it's just not really straight. So I'm gonna pull that out, give it one more cut. And hopefully we'll be good. Your boy done screwed up. Ripped the cooler supposed to look like the one below it. I have a big gaping hole. That means all my fluid's just gonna fly out. So I'm gonna try to JB weld it for now and order a new cooler. Oh, how annoying. This is super annoying. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. Everything else is looking good though. The line fits got extra fits here I don't know about this that's the other thing I'm worried about but uh, we got to deal with that first all right so we've ordered a new cooler it won't be here till Sunday and as you can tell by the wetness my first go round with the JB weld has not gone well so we're setting up a bigger match bigger batch and I said let it sit for 15 minutes it'll harden up a little bit but if you look, you can see, ah, uh, it'll focus. Blue right through right there, but the sides look okay. I didn't let it harden 
the full time either. So we're gonna slather a whole bunch more on there. And hopefully, this will hold until I get the new one on Sunday so I can go to work. Saturday and Sunday. Your boy just isn't feeling very good right now. This is a real big bummer. But the other fitting, nothing popped out of that. So right now I'm feeling okay. Yeah, we'll see. We got a heck of a mess here to clean up, but we're just gonna let it drip. Yeah, things happen. Oh well, I'm gonna cut this video here. So uh, you'll find out how this finishes out another day, so peace out.